Hi guys, how you doing? Hello, hello and welcome, welcome, welcome to another Andy Easy Guitar. Um, in the last lesson we uh, were talking about heavy metal rhythms, how we can play them on the guitar. Um, I wanted to look a little bit deeper into that today and talk a little bit about dynamics. Um, what are dynamics? Good question. Um, well, dynamics is a way that we can enhance our chords and our riffs and make them sound more alive. You know, it's like when you have your Sunday dinner and you put your mint sauce on your lamb, it tastes so much better. Well, dynamics more or less do the same thing when we play guitar. They make our solos, our riffs, our chords sound so much better. So, how can we use dynamics? Well, let's have a look. If we take, say, just an A chord, and we just play the chord, you know, it sounds a little bland, a little dry, a little dreary. So we need to find a way that we can spice the chord up, you know? Um, and this is what dynamics is all about. Um, and now there's lots of things we can do here. I mean, one of the most simple, easiest, common ways to spice up a chord, just pure palm damping. I mean, you can hear the difference straight away between... So it makes a big difference. Um, you guys that don't know what palm damping is, have a look at one of my other videos I did on uh, metal power chords and then come back. But very quickly, um, when we palm damp, what we do, oh, we take the heel of our hand here and we just lay it across the, the strings on the bridge of the guitar. Um, we don't push down really hard, just lie it across. And then when we lie our hand across, we get this... Makes it, as I said earlier on, makes a big, big difference to the chord. Um, so if we take a, a, a normal chord progression, any chord progression, it doesn't really matter. And we can use the open chord and the palm damping. It can make such a big difference to, to the sound of the riff or the song. I mean, let's just take something like, you know, anything. Uh, simply just by adding palm damping and a little bit of open chords at the same time it completely changes the sound of what we have. Um, another thing we can do to add uh, a little more dynamics is we can also mute or damp with our fingering hand. Um, again very simple technique. If we take, uh, take an A chord for instance maintain our finger position but just lift our fingers off we get that sort of sound and again all I'm doing is I'm just lifting my fingers and holding them on the strings lightly I'm not um, you don't want to take them completely off you know you want to maintain the chord position but just lift them off so that your fingers are just laying on the string so you get that deadening sort of sound because you can combine all three things together where you can combine the, the open chord, the damping, and you can also combine the lifting on and off of your finger so you can get this sort of sound. palm damping along you just get that and if you play the chord open you just get that so what we're actually getting here we're getting three for the price of one which is a good deal by anybody's standard you know so as I said just lift that finger off 
off the fret but maintain the positioning on the strings so then we can get that <laughs> can do then is we can combine all three of these techniques together into uh, into a chord progression where we can combine that damp, the dampening and the lifting um, and these three things will set off such a great different sound and by adding these dynamics to our uh, progressions and our riffs and our chord playing it sounds so much more powerful um, and as a rhythm guitarist, it's our job to provide the power behind the solos. And when those solos come in over those powerful riffs, it makes your song and it makes the band sound so, so heavy, you know, so alive. And it wants people want to get up and shake the red, bang the red, you know, do the old head banging. It's great stuff. And so let's take all three of these combinations that we've got then, where we've got the open chord. The palm muted chord. The chord where we're lifting. And muting at the same time. Uh, let's try and put progression together using all three of these techniques and then we can hear the effect that the dynamics have on the progression. Okay guys, well, uh, I hope uh, that's explained a little bit about how we can use dynamics in our rhythm playing. Um, as I said earlier on, you know, dynamics is a very, very important thing, not only in lead, but in our rhythm playing as well. It can bring a whole song to life. It can really, really throw some um, life into your performance and into your guitar playing. Uh, so just try and experiment with it, try and use it a little bit, you know, have fun guys, that's what music's all about, having fun. Well I hope this has been useful for you today, I uh, hope it's helped you. Um, please, please, please leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as quick as I can on that one. Uh, if you've liked what we've done today, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Uh, don't forget to ring that old notification bell, you know, uh, and you know every time I upload a, a new video. Um, so take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll see you next time. See ya.